Proverbs chapter 15. You've probably heard this verse or you've been exposed to it in some way, but it's a great piece of wisdom in Proverbs. Listen to what it says. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. It's this wisdom of when someone comes to you with, with anger or with a, you know, a loud voice or something that instead of trying to combat one another, he says a soft answer will turn away wrath. Think about what you're going to say and, and, and try to bring the, the tension down by how you respond. Saying right things at the right time, well, causes joy. Listen to what it says. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth and a word spoken in due season, how good it is. So stop and think. This proverb, chapter 15, is all about how you respond with your mouth, which is really responding with your heart, thinking about what you're going to say. It's once again a proverb about wisdom. Think before you speak. Listen to counsel and instruction as talked about here in this proverb. Fear of God, or if I put it this way, the reverence of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And that's what he's trying to get us to, to think about the Lord, to think about our responses, to think about the attitude of our heart and our mind, and to allow our tongue to be controlled by that. He who disdains instruction despises his own soul, but he who heeds rebuke gets understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. In other words, fear the Lord, reverence Him. And before you're honored in any way, become a humble person. Don't think more highly of yourself than you should. And let the Lord give you wisdom in how you use your tongue. As it began there in the very first verse, a soft answer turns away wrath. In the culture we live in, in the time that we're walking through, there's great wisdom, there's great instruction for you and I in Proverbs chapter 15.